this class we discuss about power in terms of symmetrical components p plus jq is equal to v i conjugate this is a single phase apparent power its unit is volt amperes three phase apparent power is equal to v r into i r conjugate plus v y into i y conjugate plus v b into i b conjugate where v r v y and v b are the phase voltages i r conjugate i y conjugate and i b conjugate are the conjugates of phase currents i r i y i b p plus j q is equal to phase voltage matrix into conjugate current matrix p plus j q is equal to i can write v transpose matrix into current matrix conjugate v r v y v b i can write this matrix in terms of symmetrical component voltage matrix that is a matrix into symmetrical component voltage matrix this is a matrix this is a symmetrical component voltage matrix here v r v y v b this matrix transpose that is equal to a transpose a matrix transpose into sequence voltage matrix transpose similarly phase current conjugate matrix is equal to a conjugate matrix into sequence current conjugate matrix here a conjugate matrix is equal to 1 1 1 1 a a square 1 a square a a transpose matrix is equal to a matrix therefore three phase apparent power is equal to p plus j q is equal to v transpose that is sequence voltage transpose matrix into a transpose matrix that is a matrix this is a a conjugate matrix into sequence current conjugate matrix therefore three phase apparent power is equal to p plus j q is equal to sequence voltage matrix into i multiplied these two matrix i got the diagonal elements are 3 half diagonal elements are 0 this is conjugate sequence current matrix i can write p plus j q is equal to 3 into sequence voltage matrix into sequence current conjugate matrix therefore three phase apparent power is equal to 3 into v0 into i0 conjugate plus 3 into v1 into i1 conjugate plus 3 into v2 into i2 conjugate or three phase apparent power is equal to 3 into modulus of v0 into modulus of i0 into cos theta0 plus 3 into modulus of v1 modulus of i1 into cos theta1 plus 3 into modulus of v2 into modulus of i2 into cos theta2 the conclusion is total complex power in the unbalanced system is equal to sum of the complex powers of the three symmetrical component therefore symmetrical component transformation is power invariant